All right, so this video you're about to watch was filmed back in November when I came back from college, and I just wanted to give you a few notes on the video to enhance your experience of it before watching it. The first one is that when you see the performance of the, the trick I'm about to show you, I don't want you to rewind the video, and the reason for that is this trick is meant to be done live, and obviously you won't have that option if we were sitting across each other at a, at a restaurant or something. Uh, and the second thing is just to really, you know, watch the tutorial in its entirety, and I, I don't say that to increase watch time, I really couldn't care less about that. The actual reason is just because I put a lot of um, effort into a beginning, middle, and end, and a lot of the key psychological points that I point out come later in the video. So I want you to watch the whole thing so you get the whole experience, and if you do that, I guarantee you, you will not be caught. And enjoy the video. Alright, so welcome back to uh, my channel. I haven't posted here in a while uh, in terms of magic videos. I think I did one or two back in 2020, a card magic tutorial and a uh, mentalism one, but I wanted to add a third one, and this is gonna be using uh, coins. And uh, this is really just for like a situation where you're sitting at a restaurant with one or two people and you're seeing across from them or something like this, uh, which is why I set the camera up like this. I want you to be able to see what the audience is seeing. But the cool part about it is, again, you don't need sleeves or anything like that. It's just gonna be using a single quarter, and it's not meant to really be like a magic trick. You obviously present it as one, but you're not gonna really be doing it like when people uh, ask for one. It's more done in the offbeat. So obviously you're just playing around uh, with this coin and I'll, I'll show you sort of what it looks like. It's not supposed to be done really, really scrutinized, but you know, it's supposed to be just kind of on an offbeat. And I'll, I'll sort of show you what I mean by that. So I, just, I have a quarter, obviously, and just watch the quarter here. This is the trick I'm going to show you. So you take it, you put it in its hand like this and kind of just squeeze it down like this so it looks like it disappears from this hand and this hand just like that. And uh, yeah. That's the, that's it. That's the trick I'm gonna be teaching you. It's very simple, uh, looks looks crazy, right? It looks like I just made a coin, made it disappear. Uh, looks very impossible. And the cool part about this is you can make the coin appear anywhere. So if I just go like this, coin comes back. Um, and I'll, I'll teach you how to do that right now. Now, the cool thing about this trick, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I don't wanna, you know, waste your time or do anything. The cool part about this trick is the fact that you do not need to use um, very much sleight of hand. It's very much based on misdirection. And what I really appreciate what I really appreciate about this trick is that when I teach it to people, it sort of makes them understand just how much the little details of magic matter. Because not often do you realize in a performance all the small details, but I'm going to teach you all these small details and they're going to sort of add up to form this really uh, convincing trick. Now I must say, um, if you weren't fooled by this trick, that's all right. Uh, it's very hard to fool someone over the camera, especially with a, a technique like this. So trust me, I've never been caught with this in the real world and you won't either. It's a crazy trick and you gotta just trust me on that. Uh, without further ado, I'm gonna actually show you exactly how this trick is done, but before I do that, I need to say where this trick is from. So this trick really is as old as time. It, the, the vanish itself has been around forever, but um, a lot of the psychological subtleties I get are from, the, in my opinion, the greatest mentalist in the world right now, or to ever live, Darren Brown. So it's from Darren Brown's Trick of the Mind. So this is a great book. Um, I'd recommend picking it up, but in there he describes this vanish and he adds in uh, certain psychological subtleties that make it very, very hard to retrack what he did. So the picture I want you to create in your head is going to be very different than what actually happens. I want you to think that, you know, I was picking up the quarter, uh, looking at it a little bit, putting down. I want you to think that I just pick up the quarter, you know, make it vanish from both hands and it just disappears completely. But that's not what happens. And uh, if you rewatch the video, you will actually see that um, I pick it up a slightly different way. And this is actually the entire secret. And you're going to laugh when you, when you see this, but you have to bear with me. The entire secret of this entire trick relies on you just going like this, picking it off the table, and I just drop it into my lap like that. that that's really all it is. That's all it is. You just take the coin and you're going to pretend to pick it up, but it's going to go into my lap. So right now the coin isn't in my hand. It's on my lap. Okay, but I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna sell the vanish a little bit more. So I'd recommend just practicing this a little bit. Um, and the best way to practice it is to actually take a coin, a quarter more like, put it on the table and to actually practice actually picking it up in your hand to feel like what that actually feels like to pick it up, all right? And a couple times after you're comfortable with this, you're gonna go ahead and pick the coin up, but you're gonna have your thumb up higher than it would normally be, like this. So that way it just drops into your, um, into your lap like this. And make sure your legs are pressed together so the coin doesn't slip through or anything like that. That's very important. 
Uh, another good tip to know is that you don't want to have your, uh, your fingers too far apart because they will see the coin vanish. So what you want to do is make sure that your fingers are relatively you know, closed like that and you want to make it seem like you're just picking it up off the table. Now, this is the only piece of sleight of hand you're really going to need to know. Everything else is just going to be, like I said, psychological um, cues that make it seem like the vanish is something else. Now again, this doesn't have to be a quarter. I've done this from anything from bottle caps to silica gels. I've done this with quite literally anything that you can hold in your hand that's small. You could do it with anything, you know? And that's really the beauty of this trick, you know? So I'm gonna walk through what you have to do right now. And here's how I remember it. All right, you have the coin here. And while you're talking with them, you're gonna do this. You're gonna pick it up with your right hand, look at it, put it in your left hand just like that, immediately show it, right? Put it down, sort of relax, keep talking, repeat that, all right? Pick up the, um, pick up the quarter, look at it, put it in your left hand, immediately show it, put it down, right? And all, all, while, people are, all while you're doing this, if people know you're a magician and they know you're about to do a trick, they're going to be watching your hands a lot. And, um, you know, it, it's really going to seem boring because you're just doing the same thing. So they're going to basically let their guard down. And that's what you're sort of hoping that they do. And what I often do is I'll often just kind of relax and go like this, you know, I will relax. And then I come over here in the action of moving forward and gesturing to them. Then I pick the coin up and I lean forward and I put both of my elbows onto the, onto the table. And here's the crucial part. Um, when I'm right here, I look here and I keep my fingers sort of loosely like this. I look at them, I gesture and I say, watch the coin. Okay. And this little piece uh, of, of psychology is what sells the entire trick because you want them to think that you just picked up the coin here. You showed it to them. You made a vanish from both hands, but that's not what's happening. You're already a couple steps ahead of them because the coin is already in your lap. But again, you want to stay ahead of them. So what it's going to look like is it's going to look like you picked it up and did this, but in actuality, you took it off the end of the table. Uh, and this is a very important point to make. A lot of times I'd say, you know, cause I usually survey people after I, I do the trick to them. I usually ask them what they saw. When I tell them to watch the coin, an amazing amount of people swear that they saw the coin in my hand when I said, watch the coin. It's a really great piece of, of psychology. The fact that I can go like this, watch the coin and nothing's in my hand, but they think that it is just because I say, watch the coin. And then all of a sudden now they get really focused. And of course, by then it doesn't matter because the, the work is already done. The coin's already in my lap. So it really doesn't matter how hard they focus now, which is why I really like to lean forward. I want to make sure there's no possibility that they think that we can backtrack anything. You take it here, you gesture, watch the coin. You do the same motion that you did before, but this time obviously there's nothing in your hand. All right, you close your left hand, briefly show your right hand empty, but not that clearly. Cause you want them to maybe think that you just held it in your right hand because you know, every magician has certain vanishes that you do where it looks like it goes in one hand and it's not here and it's in the other hand. So you want them to think it's one of these. You want them to think it's one of these vanishes where you put it in this hand and then, oh, well, it's just in the other hand, but obviously it's not gonna be in any of them, which makes this trick so much better than anything else. You're gonna take it here, watch the coin, close your hand around here, sort of show this hand empty. Right? Pretend that you're, you know, making the coin smaller and smaller, do whatever you want, however you like to present your vanishes, and then show the coin to be gone. All focus goes on this hand, and then when you when you show your hands like this, it, it's amazing. People's jaws, you know, hit the floor. And you want to keep this position. You don't want to immediately go back because they'll think, wait, maybe, maybe the coin's somewhere. You're going to have your hands empty. They're not going to be able to say anything. They're just going to be speechless. You put your hands on the table just like that and sort of just relax and just, just be like, you know, give them, give them one of these. And uh, what this is going to do is just sort of show that, you know, it's not trapped anywhere like in your elbows so you, you can move freely. And it, it's going to get rid of every doubt that they had. Um, and from here, you know, pe people usually go crazy and then you, you can just sort of relax. Uh, people are going to ask where the coin is eventually. So what I usually do is I usually get the coin from my lap and I usually just keep it in a finger palm. So, um, what you could do is if you don't know how to palm a coin, which it, it does take, you know, years of practice is just have the coin concealed like this in your hand. Right. And just look for anything, you know, like if, if I was at a restaurant and I had, there was like a, a salt shaker right here, let's say. I would take the salt shaker, go like this, and drop the coin. Um, you can do anything to make the coin reappear, or a lot of times, if you don't feel like you know making the coin reappear, 
you can just not just you know just say I don't know they say where's the coin you go I don't know and then they're like what do you mean you don't know it adds another layer of psychology to where they think did he actually just make the coin disappear they you know they don't really think that but they think it enough to where they just get completely confused and it adds a lot to the magic um, I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining this I usually um, you know, explain this to people who want to learn a trick, like one-on-one, -on -one, and I, they can ask questions and I can answer. Uh, so it's a little more difficult, you know, to do this because if you do something wrong, I can't correct you, or if you have a question, I can't answer it. But I'm gonna try my best to sort of uh, answer any questions that you guys may have. So I'm gonna do it one more time just so you can remember everything there is to remember about this trick. Um, again, you just need any coin, any small object, and um, you can also ask for it, you know, but this is just a really good thing to do, especially if people aren't really ready for a trick. But even if they are, it still works. Um, oh, before I do that though, one tip I do have is once it goes into your lap, make sure your knees are pressed together so that way the coin can't fall. And one tip I have that is really amazing is I've had this happen where I do the vanish, you know, it vanishes, and people check under the table because they're like, it must be there, right? Now your immediate reaction is probably to like, oh, like, like grab it, right? But that's not what you want to do. People are gonna briefly check under the table, but once they see that you're calm, you know, you're very calm, you're not worried about them seeing anything, they're not gonna wanna check anymore. It's sort of the reverse psychology thing of having nothing to hide that, you know, if, if I all of a sudden went like this when you looked under the table to see if the coin was, you know, on the floor or something, then they'd get suspicious and they'd know, okay, he has the coin. However, I promise you, they will not see the coin, right? But if you just relax, stay like this, they're gonna tilt their head a little bit. And obviously it's very uncomfortable to tilt your head like this. So they're not gonna do it for, for long. They're gonna do it for maybe two to four seconds, if that. And they're gonna, you know, immediately come back up and be like, you know, it's, it's amazing. I don't know where the coin is. Uh, another thing is to roll up your sleeves when you're doing it, cause you don't want them to think that it's down your sleeve. And then they might come over to you and feel your sleeves and they might see the coin in your lap. So make sure that they don't, you know, think that, the, that sleeves are an issue, very important. So here we go. Without further ado, I'm gonna walk over the moves again, just so you can sort of get them. Um, so let's say they hand you a coin or they hand you anything, and you're just sort of talking, um, you know, talking about the coin. You can talk about the coin, you can talk about magic, or I've been getting into, you know, whatever you want. Uh, you can present it, like I said, as not a trick, as just something that weird that happens. Um, so yeah. One other thing, actually. Darren Brown suggests in his book to, um, instead of, you know, just making the coin vanish and saying, I made it disappear, to act out what you want the audience to think is happening. So he likes to make the illusion that he's uh, shrinking the coin and making it smaller and smaller to where you can't even see it anymore. <clears throat> so if you're doing that, you know, really act it and really do that. That's a little tip from him. He also believes that if you were to, if you were to want to do this, make it seem hard, make it look like it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always work, you know? So maybe sometimes you're trying it and it doesn't quite work and you don't really know why. And then eventually, oh, wait, I got it. And then by then the coin's ready in your lap. All right, so here we go. Here it is, right? Take it off the, off of your right hand, look at it, transfer it in your left hand, you know, show your right hand, show the coin immediately, put it on the table, relax a little bit, repeat. Take it off with your right hand, sort of look at it a little bit, place it in your left hand, immediately show it, right? Place it down the table, relax, come forward, drop it off the table, look at it, keep talking, look at them as if the trick is starting right now, which you want them to think. You don't want them to think the trick is starting before. Look at them, say, watch the quarter. The quarter's not actually there, but you're gonna say that. You put it in your hand like this. Briefly show this hand, snap. Gone from this hand, also gone from this hand. <clears throat> put both hands on the table just like that. Relax, give them one of these, and then put your hands back on the table or do whatever you want with them. Now, if they look under the table, if they look anywhere else, just stay still. When you get the first chance to do it, if you want to make the coin reappear, get it from your lap and you know do anything you want with it, how to make it appear. Um, you could really do whatever. You could have another quarter, maybe that you planted in their pocket before and you say, check your pocket, that would be amazing. Uh, or you could even have, let's say, um, a coin in a napkin sitting on the table, lift up the napkin, the coin is over there. A lot of different things you can do. And I think this is really one of those pieces that is very simple. You know, if I, if I would, I could have easily explained this as, oh, I just dropped it under the, under the, under the, onto my lap when you weren't looking. But again, that would be completely undermining all of the little things that make this trick work. 
You want them to think that this trick is starting when you say watch the quarter. Because if they start watching, really watching from there, they will never be able to find anything. So that's why, again, when you do this here, watch the quarter, this is where you want them to think that the trick is starting. And when you do that, no one will ever, ever figure this trick out and it'll blow everyone's mind. So yeah, I hope I did a, uh, an adequate job of explaining this trick. It, like I said, it's a very simple trick technically, but you have to understand all the details in order to successfully pull it off. And that's why I like teaching it because it, it's really, it's really fun to teach. Uh, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments. There won't be that many, so I can really, you know, help you out and answer them. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm at college right now, so it's kind of hard to make videos, but whenever I'm home, I'll usually try to shoot something for you guys. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Oh, I call myself.